Hello everyone. I'd like to welcome you all here today. Just before we start the QR scan, if you have any blue garbage, please put it in the bin. Scan the QR code or register manually with the Safe Top Beware app. The toilets are in the hiking area. And parents, please look after your children all the time. Be seated on the mats or the floor without staying in front of the audience. Those who could stand at the back. Moya Laughlin from the Community Languages WA, 
and our guest from Tamil Association of Western Australia, Vice President Mr. Bala, Rashar and Mr. Suganti, and Schools Coordinator Mr. Mani. With, with all your support, I am confident we will achieve many more, many more achievements in the years to come. I again welcome our school students, parents, teachers and volunteers. Let's all celebrate together this event. Enjoy the food, enjoy the performances, enjoy the taste of spread of dishes brought by our community with love today. Thank you. Thank you. Now, uh, students will have a welcome dance, a classical Bhadanathikin dance for our school students in prayer for prosperity. Okay.
ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਜੇ ਆ ਮਸਲਾ ਮਣੀ ਹੈ ਦਿਵਾ ਗਈ ਆ ਅਰਨ ਸਿਲਵਮ ਦੇ ਸਰਟੀ ਸਰਟੀ ਸੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਮੈਂਬਰਸ ਦੇ ਕਾਵਰ ਕਾਪਰ ਐਨਾਲਿਸਟ ਸੈਟਰਲ ਮੈਂਬਰ ਫੋਰ ਆਵਨ ਮਾਲੇ ਦੀ ਵਾਸ ਵਾਸ ਇਨ ਦ ਸੈਟਰਲ ਮੈਂਬਰ ਫੋਰ ਆਵਨ ਟੂ ਕਮ ਫੋਰਵਰਡ ਫੋਰ ਵੋਲੰਟੀਅਰਸ ਆਰ ਟੀਚਰਸ ਵੈਰੀ ਸੀਨੀਅਰ ਟੀਚਰਸ ਵਿਜੇ ਮਾਸਟਰ ਮਨੀ ਐਂਡ ਕਲਾਰ ਐਰੋ ਚੈਨਲ ਵਿਦ ਓਨਰ ਡਾਕਟਰ ਐਨਾਲੀ ਦਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਆਵਰ ਟ੍ਰੈਡੀਸ਼ਨ ਵੀ great uh, guest with a shawl and part of our tradition so we want to make sure that our series and then we can be able to see this and as dr anali would like to leave early as she has other commitments uh, so we would like to invite her to see a few words and i also wanted to um, share with the community as well uh the electric of common food electric of common uh we were granted funding uh, um through the application process through the electric of common the federal government uh, had given us some funding to purchase laptops which we have already purchased as well so after a speech she will fully hand over one laptop uh, to our teacher coordinator we are introducing many advanced technological uh, resources in our teaching uh, compared to the traditional way of teaching we are moving away from we are retaining that but with, with that we are also introducing it and internet based resources to teach language which is more engaging for the younger generation so we thank uh, uh, the federal government and the electric of common for supporting our project uh, to purchase uh, it equipment for the school okay uh vanakam <laughs> yeah pair and I want to tell you, I just learned that from the young children. So to the teachers here, your students have now become teachers. And so I think you should be very proud, all the parents and all the teachers here should be very proud of your young people this, this, um, today. Not only because they've become teachers, teaching me, Vanakam and young Per Anne, we also uh learned a little bit of the the uh, uh Tamil alphabet while I was talking to them but also because in the short time that we've been here this morning watching the young children uh perform those traditions that are so important and have been passed on from generation to generation to generation within Tamil culture and watching that here in the suburbs of Balladura really speaks about what Australia is a modern multicultural nation where we are able to live together and pass on those traditions and those cultures to our children and especially through the teaching of language now kids I'll tell you something When I was your age, my parents tried to send me to language school on Sunday as well. But when I was your age, we didn't have many language schools. And so I didn't learn my language. My language was Arabic. Right? And I didn't learn it when I was your age. So when I grew up and I became an adult, I actually went and studied my language. so that i could learn my language and i could learn my culture but the thing about learning another language is that it's not just good to learn about your culture and your traditions and, and where your family comes from and your your identity who you are it's also good for your brain when you learn another language you become better at maths and science and english and all the other subjects and all the other subjects so it's actually very good for you to learn your language because it's good for your to to be better at school but also because it's important for you to know where your family comes from my family comes from egypt my great great grandfather came from Morocco. Now I know about my culture, 
my traditions, my customs. And it's a really, um, it's a really positive opportunity for you to learn about this while you're young. I had to learn it when I grew up and I feel like I missed out on a lot when I was young, not learning it. So, um, I also wanna thank the Tamil school community for inviting me here today and to congratulate you on successfully uh, getting a volunteers uh, award to purchase your, your, your laptops. We have, uh, through this process, we bring together the community and the community chooses what's important and what shall get the funding. So I wanted to let you know that the community group that we had together looked at your, your application and together they decided that it was important, that what you do is important. Um, and I think that's, that's, that's a very important thing to remind you of because it means that we value you and we love what you're doing and we want you to continue to do that. So thank you. Thank you, uh, for those kind remarks and also supporting our school. Uh, I would like to inv invite uh, our coordinator, Nina Krishnan, to come and uh, present the laptops, uh, one laptop out of the 12 or 13 we purchased for each of, each of our teachers, to hand over to our teacher's coordinator, uh, Satya Saravanakumar. Thank you, Dr. Ali. I will hand over to Tamil Kumar. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, now, we have a few certificates for our students uh, to be issued as well. Uh, Lena will take off on here. So, our students participated in the South Tamil School Western Australia. Uh, they compared. Uh, we had a Tamil competition which included poetry recital, literature recital, speech competitions, and our students have got uh, certificates and first place and second place. So Dr. Anamie would now uh, present these certificates. So first for uh, poetry recital, Tiana Mandirajan. Again! 
I saw you last time. You're back again. You must be very, very smart. Again, we call upon Jeshwan Ram Sedraman for special literature recital, and he got the second place. Say here, um, while Moya is also here, who is uh, very supportive of our community language schools assessments and uh, accreditation registrations. These kids, we are a small school compared to other two Tamil schools in the south. We have 400 odd students in one school, 200 odd students in the other. We are a school which started with around 10 15 students. We have grown to 100 over 100 now. But these kids are really, they have to be proud of themselves. They have gone to these competitions, for, like, competed with uh, other kids and got many prizes. and brought fame to our school as well as to themselves and more importantly, more than the prizes, they have gone there and participated and promoted our language and culture from the north, uh, going to the south and doing all these competitions. Parents, I wish to thank all the parents who take this, uh, uh, take the extra effort to make sure that you push your children to do their best. So that's very, um, uh, um, very much appreciated by the school and the community. Thank you. Explanation. Let a man esteem that this position, which is 
from envy in the same manner as propriety of conduct. Quran Nuthi Arvati Arandu Vilupetra Nagdu Oppadu Illa Yaar Matrum Alukatru Nanwe Verun Idan Porul Yaar Adathilum Porama Illa Adirka Petral Oruvan Pera Thakka Memaarana Pera Halil Adatku Oppanadu Veru Nidu Mirdai If man can learn to envy none on earth, this riches gift beyond compare its worth. Explanation. Amongst all attainable excellences, there is none equal to that of being free from envy towards others. Quran Muthi Arvati Mondru Aran Akam Venadam Yenban Piran Akam Venada Alukarupan Idan Purul தனக்கு அறமும் ஆக்கமும் விரும்பாதவன் என்று கருத தக்கவனே பிறனுடைய ஆக்கத்தை கண்டு மகிழாமல் அதற்காக பொறாமைப்படுவான் of others and these it will be said he neither desires virtue nor wealth Quran Muthi Arvati Nangu Dilipetran
Mrs. Devaki Surya Kumaran. She was the founding coordinator of the school in 1995. She was working with Dr. Nadasiva uh, in the first team that formed the school. And Lina is our current joint coordinator. Both of them will honor Councillor Mel on uh, before his speech. Thank you. Uh, before I invite uh, Councillor Congleton to say a few words, uh, some of you might have been at our event in April. So he mentioned about our proposed move to this school. And this event, we had actually worked to call this event twice. In May, when we came to this location, we were going to have it, and then we closed, and we had to cancel it because of COVID lockdown. Then we planned for July, sent out invitations, and then we had to cancel that Friday because of COVID again. So this time, we thought we are not going to actually invite or send any formal invitation. Let's start as a low-key event and check at 12 o'clock whether there's going to be a press conference. If not, then we are happy to go ahead with the event. <laughs> so that's the plan. That's why we even uh, didn't uh, like, I mean, prepare that much, but we had put together some events and uh, uh, some items for uh, us to enjoy today. So, Councilor Mel, I have to again reiterate his support in moving to this location. It was great. Uh, he's the vice chair of the college board as well. Uh, as you all know, uh, Mayor um, Kevin Bailey was uh, at our last get together last year at Whiteman Park. And uh, we did mention to him, like, I mean, we are struggling to find a place. We need a place to move uh, so that our community is growing. We need more space. We can't manage it if we alone. So uh, he uh, helped us, and then Councillor Mel will say uh, how this all eventuated in such a quick time. And please join me in thanking Councillor Mel Kankaten, the City of Swan, the officials, and the school uh, for being so cooperative, welcoming, and supportive of our language school operations. Uh, we will invite Rebecca later to say a few words as well. I'll hand over to Councillor Kankaten now. It's a, uh, a very memorable and honourable day today to be here to see all the wonderful children, the teachers, the parents, Sean, my good friend, to see what has transpired on this campus. It's amazing that uh, the journey you've taken from being in the old, very um, small premises to now you've got several classrooms, a green space, common room and all the areas that I think the Tamil Association and all the students need for your cultural dances, your cultural arts and your language skills. So it's wonderful to be here. My fellow councillor Bryce Parry joins us here today as well as Caitlin from the City of Swan, Rebecca, thank you for being here. But it really is, um, I think, Malajura Community College opened up its, its heart and its, its arms to the Tamil group and I hope this continues for a long period of time, Sean. And to you, thank you very much indeed for the invitation. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor uh, Mel. Uh, we'd like to have you to issue a few certificates to our students who have... Uh, oh, sorry. This is for... This is uh, these two gift vouchers. For the first time, very first time from our school, two students are going to sit for their ATAR examination in Tamil. So they are going to do Tamil as an ATAR subject outside of their school because they can't do it through the school. We haven't come to that stage yet. The state government announced in January this year, or probably around January, February, that Tamil will become a mainstream language in uh, mainstream schools from 2023. So we are looking forward to that as well. But in the meantime, these kids have come forward and done the hard work to go to do ATA, the Victorian based curriculum. They will be doing a few tests online or on the phone and a few written exams as well. So we want to encourage all the other students as well. So please continue to keep this as an option to learn and do Tamil in your ATA subject. It gives you some time, it is extra points as well for uh, learning another language. So I invite our senior student who had been in the school for over 10 years, I think, Tamil Kumaran Maslamani, to 
I see this big culture on the school as a show of encouragement. And I also would like to call upon Abarna Madhivanan. I would like to call upon Mr. Shanmuranadhan and Mrs. Ranjana Tambiraja to come and join this stage for a picture. We are the teacher Abarna, please stay here. They are the teachers who have been training them for ETA. And I had the privilege of learning from them by teaching them. So they are very uh, challenging uh, questions and they argue or not, they, they, uh, they challenge everything. They don't take it with face value. So that's a very pleasure to be in your class teaching him for ETA. Thank you. Presentation of Council. Councillor Price, we are another friend of our school, with, uh, they work together for the Whiteman Mall, uh, Councillor Mel and Councillor Price. He was at a year end uh, function last year in December, so we had the privilege of uh, meeting with him and talking to him about our school operations. And he was at a Connecting Through Culture event as well. So thank you for being part of our school uh, community. And I would like to invite you to say a few words. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Sean. Uh, believe it or not, my uh, daughter has the last one from last time. She loved the purple and gold one from Caragene Noble. So I know exactly the last one is, but I think you've been slightly uh, bored. I think the main thing is that how far have we come in the past four months with the school? It's amazing, isn't it? From the Kingfish of all to now, and the progress that's been made with this community, and also the progress by the students as well has been amazing. The, the events, the cities that we've seen today is just tremendous, and it's just great to see so much colour and vibrancy in this local community. It's truly great to be a local councillor of this school, and for such a beautiful school that you have here today. So again, I thank you all for your invitation today. It truly means a lot to me. I truly do enjoy coming to these events. I don't say that lightly, I truly do. Because I love the vibrancy, I love the colours. My children that I bring for the last time from Caragin loved it too. So thank you again for the invite and I hope to come to many more. Thank you very much. Thank you. Please stay on, Councillor Bryce. We have a few certificates for our children who participated in the New South Wales uh, Tamil proficiency competitions. So this is an Australian-wide competition, uh, or it's a written examination. So all schools participate uh, across Australia. So they have received prizes from last year due to COVID. It was delayed, and we got the certificates a bit late. So uh, I invite uh, our coordinator Lena and teacher coordinator Satya to hand over the certificates to Council Rice to be issued to the students. She's got high distinction award. Dev Dushendaraj. Rajan Dilakshan. All the students would please wait below for the Abhimanyu you Madhi Vanit. Darulia Vaslamani. And she's got high distinction in intermediate law and medicine. Sanjana Karigalan.
Elizabeth, I would like to welcome you. Uh, parents and students, uh, the Office of Multicultural Interest is a co-funding supporter. So they provide grants through the Community Languages Program for us to uh, run these events and uh, run these pro language learning opportunities. So they have been doing this for quite a long time. Uh, from the Department of Education, initially it started as a language learning program. It started as a language learning program, then it got transferred to the Office of Multicultural Interest as a community languages program with culture, language, everything coming together. And we are very thankful to OMI for helping us, supporting us, and uh, also uh, for coming today. Uh, I'll, I'll invite uh, our teacher, uh, our dance trainer, Uma Maheshwari Silvaraj, and Mrs. Ranjana Tambiraja, our guest teacher. So she comes to teach only for the ETA classes as a special teacher. Uh, please come forward to honor uh, Lisbeth. Through Lisbeth, we are honoring the Office of Multicultural Interest and the state government for their continued support. <laughs> Moya, why, why, why don't you come and join us for the picture? Moya McLaughlin is part of the Community Languages WA, which assesses our programs and curriculum and our accreditation efforts. Thank you, Mel. Thank you very much. Uh, we are prepared. <laughs> but, um, the Office of Multicultural Interest is very pleased to keep supporting the Tamil uh, Association through the Community Language School and it's very pleased to see the growth of the, uh, the Community Language Schools into different campus so, um, and we're very pleased to actually support all the campus that are available. Thank you very much. I have a few certificates to issue. Uh, yes. Welcome, Moya. 
Ryan has been working with our school for now over uh, 18 months, I think, uh, when we started our registration process for the Pathways to Improvement program, which was introduced by the Office of Multicultural Interests, to give us some framework, which is really great, because with the framework, we are able to do more activities to align with the framework. I'll let first our volunteers, Christina and Kumar Maheshwari, to honor Maya. So, I wouldn't say too much because I'm not an expert. Moya is the expert in community languages and uh, how the schools should be functioning and running. Uh, but you would probably be able to see for yourself how we are trying to align our activities with the eight standards that you have put forward. So this fits with the eighth standard, which is taking the school into the community. So we are taking the community, taking the school into the broader community to promote our language and culture. At the same time, standard seven, which is bringing the parents and volunteers into the school, into the community, into, the, into our school community, and make them an integral part of the school operation, which again, you can see for yourself how we are working towards that uh, end. I would like to invite you to say a few words. Uh, thank you very much for the invitation to come today. This school has developed so much in the couple of years that I've known it. And I must say, the eight standards that Nilakshan mentioned, they're not just for community language schools. They're for all schools in the whole of Australia. And the school is judging itself and putting forward its achievements in those eight standards in comparison with all schools in the whole of Australia. So it's a very, very important thing for the school to recognise its achievements and to track its improvement. And that's what it's all about. The things like the, the award of a, a new laptop to enable schools to be involved in more IT activity. This is fantastic for, for the students because they were using email and TikTok and Snapchat and all sorts of things to keep in touch with family and colleagues and work with people all over the world. Our children are children of the world these days, not just Balladura, not just Western Australia. They are children of the world. And this school is helping them to take their place in the world. And for that, I thank the teachers and I thank the parents, the whole community who is supporting the school. Thank you very much. Thank you. We would like to... Our students participated in the Western Australia Multicultural Association Harmony Day Gathering on the 21st of March. And they did the parade performance and the dance performance as well. And we would like to please issue the certificates. Uh, Yashli Shandal Kumar. Diana Karthik. Yarameya Maslamani. Representative Ms. Rebecca Trevor Cook by Ms. Sendhul Kumar and Mr. Balaji. Rebecca represents uh, the Balajura Community College. She's the Corporate Services Manager. Uh, Principal uh, Lee Cottrell, Mr. Lee Cottrell, uh, and Rebecca had been very supportive. They worked uh, quickly to help us to move. They knew how we were struggling to find a place as soon as possible to make sure kids don't drop out because of inadequate facilities at Kingfisher. So we have to really wholeheartedly thank uh, the school, whoever, everyone worked who worked behind the scenes to make sure that we were able to move here quickly, uh, so quickly and settle so quickly. So I would like to invite Rebecca to say a 
uh, few words. Before that, uh, we would like to invite our volunteers to come and honor Rebecca with the traditional show. Thank you very much. Um, welcome to Balladura Community College. Um, I'm the manager of corporate services here, so I'm responsible for your classrooms and your facilities here. Hands up, boys and girls, if you like your new premises and your new teachings here. I've been working really closely with Sean and others to make sure that you have got all the facilities that you need and that you have a really wonderful learning experience at the college. Earlier, Dr. Anne Ali said how wonderful it is that you have the opportunity to continue learning and studying Tamil here in Western Australia. Well, how lucky are we, and I am, and my husband is, that we got to experience the Tamil culture here in Western Australia in a time of lockdown. We don't have to travel overseas because we have it literally on our doorstep. And that's what Australia is all about, learning new cultures. I've never been to Sri Lanka, I've never been to India. So for me, that was a wonderful experience. I look forward to being invited to further events. Um, I'll be working with Sean over the coming months to make sure that you have enough classrooms and facilities here at the college so that you can continue your wonderful work that you're doing here at the college. So welcome to Balladura, enjoy your studies. Um, and just, for, I'll end with a little note. Anne Alex said that she only learnt about her culture later in life. My grandmother was born in Turkey. My grandfather spent a third of his life in England, um, Russia, and Greece, and Turkey. And it's only now that I'm older that I actually appreciate those cultures and I'm actually learning about those cultures. He was born, my grandfather was born in Ballarat, but actually spent the majority of his life overseas. So take, you know, learn your lessons and um, learn the language of your culture. It is so important and it's very difficult to learn later in life. Thank you very much. Thank you, Rebecca. Please uh, stay on to issue a few certificates to our students. Yeah, I, I don't want the guests to uh, get the wrong impression that uh, these kids are always doing competitions. <laughs> no, not that. Well, we actually learn and teach and it's part and parcel of their effort. And these competitions are mainly not through uh, our formal classroom uh, teaching. Parents take a great interest in getting their children ready and participating in these competitions as well without parent support. Just with two hours of studies a week. We can't do it by ourselves. We can only help, guide, and put them in the right framework, and then it's a collective effort. So it's for more to know how we are making use of our parents and volunteers to uh, uh, encourage children to learn this language. Come here every week. That itself is a commitment. So many things, birthday parties and uh, travel and holidays. But you make sure that you come here, you bring a good spread today. I told uh, Principal Lee when we met for the first time, uh, when we moved to the school on the first day itself, we will have the biggest morning tea or afternoon tea. We couldn't do it because of COVID, but we have done it in a limited way today. So please stay on, everybody, to enjoy the food prepared with love by our parents uh, after we uh, finish with the formal proceedings. These are the parents and adults, or the volunteers, who have learned the performances to make sure we pass this on to our next generation as well. So the Multicultural Association of Western Australia has given certificates to the parents and volunteers who are learning these instruments and art forms as well.
introduce Caitlin here. She was the first person we went and met as a community development officer. This was just all happening uh, by uh, the alignment of stars, I would say, because uh, I got an email first saying that I'm Caitlin. I have uh, uh, started working as a community development officer in Balajura. I would like to meet with the school if you have any issues or if you need any help, come and meet with us. So it was just, we didn't even know what we had to go to and we were looking around, uh, knocking at doors, for, looking for facilities. Then we met with uh, Silva was there and uh, one of our other parents, um, uh, Pradesh. The three of us, we went and met with Caitlin and we sent, uh, we uh, explained like this is the situation. She helped us immediately to uh, get the youth center, White Line Youth Center, to expand our operations there. So we were operating out of four different places in the Kingfisher Oval and then uh, she helped us to celebrate a Whiteman Park get-together. She was there as well and uh, Kevin Bailey visited as well. And with all that support, our school has been growing and the Balajura Community Network that Caitlin runs has been a great opportunity for us to network, take our community and culture and language to the broader community. So we thank Caitlin and we are not just for the moment, we uh, this is not a just one of uh, uh, engagement with the city. I hope it will continue and a long-standing uh, engagement for the community. We will be supporting your event in uh, December, the Balajura by Twilight. That event we are very much hoping and waiting to participate in whatever way is possible. I'd like to invite you to say a few words. And thank you so much for inviting um, me today. It's been such a pleasure to see the um, amazingly talented students um, at your school. Uh, it's just been so wonderful working with the Perth North Tunnel School. Um, thank you, Sean, for all the work you do. Um, thank you for being part of the Andrew community. You really are just such an amazing um, school, and we just really appreciate sharing your culture with the community of Balladur. So thank you so much. Thank you, Mimi. Thanks to you for taking a few certificates. The last part of certificates. Jaswant Ram, say it, Raman. Jaswant Ram. Jaswant. Puraliniyam Sankar. Mukil Arun Babu. All right, kids have, must have got really tired of getting certificates now. <laughs> oh, they are here. Okay, y'all been there. Yasandra. Yasandra Mangirpinga. Kuralinian. Engirinda Alam Garina. Okay. Thank you, Caitlin. The, the proceedings after one speech by uh, our vice president of the Tamil Associate or whoever would like to come in uh, Trishara Suganti I'll say a few words <laughs> they are representing uh, the Tamil Association so we uh, our collaboration a partnership with Tamil Association they, they help us uh, as the incorporated association to apply for our grants uh, to support us our insurance and, and they also support other Tamil schools. We come work together and, uh, the Tamil, and, and very much supportive of our operations, uh, providing everything from the back, uh, behind the scenes. They give us the oral support. We thank all members, executive committee, president, and uh, ask president, uh, Dr. Selva. He's, uh, he was one of our former principals as well as a former president of Kava. And Sasi Kumar, who helped us uh, greatly in uh, executing the agreements so quickly. Uh, overnight, like I had to call him and get the agreements uh, expedited because we wanted to get, make sure that uh, we move uh, by May here. So I thank uh, the Tamil Ta Association of Western Australia for your support. Uh, can we please have uh, two volunteers to come and honor Bala, Sendil, and uh, uh, Arun Baba? This again. Is an honor to the Tamil Association to the Vice President Bala Murugan. Thank you, Bala.
அனைவருக்கும் வணக்கம் வாழ்க தமிழ் வளர்க்க தமிழ் பெருசா ஒன்னும் ப்ரிப்பேர் பண்ணல சும்மா நம்மளோட ஸ்கூல் வந்து ரொம்ப நல்லா போயிட்டு இருக்கு இங்க வந்து இது ஸ்பெஷலா வந்து ஆசிரியர்களுக்காக பண்ணது அப்படின்னு சொன்னாங்க ஸோ அவங்களுக்காக அவங்க பாராட்டுறதுக்காக ஒரு சில வந்து அன்னை அளவிற்கு அக்கறை காட்டும் ஒரு பாசம் உண்டு தந்தை போல கண்டித்து நடத்திடும் ஒரு கரிசனை உண்டு ஏனி போன்று எந்த எதிர்பார்ப்பும் இல்லாமல் ஏற்றுவிட ஒரு இனம் உண்டு இவர்களுக்கு ஆசான் ஆசிரியர் குரு என பல பெயர் உண்டு இவர்கள் இல்லாத ஒரு உலகை சிந்தித்து கூட பார்க்க இயலாது ஆசிரியர்கள் என் ஆறாம் அறிவிற்கு கல்வி புகட்டும் கூர்மை சேர்ந்தவர்கள் நாளைய சமுதாயத்திற்கு நல்லெண்ணம் போதிப்பவர்கள் உலகே வாழ்த்துகிறது உங்களை நான் வணங்குகிறேன் வடக்கு தமிழ் பள்ளியில் தமிழ் வளர்ப்பு சேவை நிகழ்ச்சிகளில் பங்கேற்கும் திறன் தன்னார்வ குழுவின் அர்ப்பணிப்பு அனைத்தையும் தமிழ் சங்கத்தின் சார்பாக பாராட்டுகிறேன் நன்றி வணக்கம் we had a first teacher coordinator we had a senior teachers and they are our newest teachers from this year uh, subhangi and then then lakshmi we i invite then lakshmi and subhangi to honor subhangi who is a treasurer of uh, tamil association thank you and i'm very glad that we are running according to schedule that's one of the other things that we always focus start shop dot on the dot and finish on the dot so people can expect next time and every time when they come they don't need to worry about whether it's going to go for another 2 hours so uh, that's the main thing that we focus on join school coordinator is a word of thanks good evening everyone hope you all had a wonderful time uh, here with us Purple Tamil School has been operating in this community for almost 10 five years and the annual fact is is our opportunity to provide our appreciation and thanks to everyone here because it's with the help of all those who are on this side of the state and the other side of the state that we're able to grow and operate successfully and i hope we will be continuing to grow as a community and as a school in the future with everyone's help and thank you everyone now uh, we would like to call upon the students to do the school anthem so we will uh, please uh, follow the guidelines uh, we will have the school anthem uh, after that we will take our guests to have uh, refreshments in the canteen area if parents could please make sure you line up with your kids you take your kids with you followed uh, following the guests so after we take the guests for uh, Uh, their refreshments and a little uh, uh, conversation in the canteen area you can help yourselves as well and volunteers who are looking after the food i would like to request you to please go over there and make sure that the food items are all arranged and ready for serving thank you parents for making all these dishes you have so been so wonderful every day together you make it a memorable one with your uh, effort with love so we thank for that and this song was specially written for our school and music composed by our school student sarvesh and he's not unable to join us today here but he sang this song at the connecting global event and for the very very first time i don't know even very whether any other community language schools or any other tamil schools have a school anthem for themselves so for the first time we wrote and composed the music by ourselves and these kids have performed earlier and we have got a few more kids joining today and this has become our school anthem for the future and the theme of the school anthem is we belong to every town everyone is our kith and kin this is not our own making this is in our literature from 3000 years ago yaadam ore yaadam kore we belong to every town everyone is our kith and kin thiru nandru pirarara vara good or bad it doesn't come from others it can only come from our own selves 
So these are the moral values given to us from 3,000 years ago. And the former president of India, Dr. Abdul Kalam, who was uh, a Tamil speaker, is a, a, from a Tamil background, Tamil speaking background, went to the European Union and he made, delivered his speech on this theme. Yadu Mure Yavan Kuri, he quoted in Tamil in the European Union's uh, 50th uh, year. So, such wonderful language, culture that we have. We have to be proud of ourselves, but at the same time, we have to make sure that we share our culture with everybody and we respect each other, we respect the broader community, we work together with everybody to promote our language and culture. Now, let's uh, uh, over to you, Sesha, meeting today in, uh, in Sarvesha's absence. Thank you for preparing at very short notice. Many of these kids joined uh, new. They didn't sing at the event in April. Uh, only a few students sang at the event. That was the first, very first time they uh, performed this song with such short notice. So thank you for joining today. And I hope all the other students will learn this song as well. The summary of the song is, we belong to every town. Everyone is our kith and kin. Uh, let us be not just bright students. Let's be good students, let's be compassionate students, let's be supportive students. This is the motto given to us by Uncle Nala Sivam. He keeps repeating every class, in every class. Not just good student, but you have to be not just a bright student, but you have to be a good student as well, a compassionate student as well. So we will promote that concept and thank you everybody, all our guests. This is an opportunity for us to wholeheartedly thank for providing us this opportunity for us to serve our community. That's all we, we get, it will be all these volunteers. They, they, they are committing their time, they, they take great pleasure in coming here. They, it is in their soul, like they want to make sure that they give back to the community that we live in. They are very committed to promoting and uh, taking our culture and language to the broader community. Any opportunities, anywhere, if you have an event, if you need our health school to come and perform, our kids to come and uh, make that multicultural uh, pro uh, performances uh, much more broader and uh, with a good variety. We are always ready to come and help anybody. 
please uh, let us know and we will be doing some pro programs in Ireland group and we are going to be part of the Balajura by Twilight as well and every other programs we will be performing at uh, Churchland School, uh, Churchland Senior High School Victoria uh, in October for uh, another event and just on Friday we performed in Fremantle uh, the Indian Ocean uh, cultural uh, show inauguration ceremony and before that for an audience of 2,300 people at Perth Shannon Exhibition Centre, uh, the martial arts and drumming students and the community members they performed at Perth Convention and Exhibition Centre in August for the Indian Independence uh, Celebration Santa. Thank you. Let's please take our Sendil and the team, our volunteers. Thank you for all your support. You are the ones who are running the school. We are just uh, giving you the support and support from the background. Please take the guests to have uh, refreshments and then we'll join you.